On this episode of East Coast Eats, we're here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It's one of my personal favorite cities in New England for food. And we're at the Roundabout Diner. It's right next to the Portsmouth Circle, separated from downtown, but they get a ton of business. These guys have awesome food from breakfast, lunch, dinner to dessert. We're really excited. As a full-time realtor working in North Shore, Massachusetts and Seacoast, New Hampshire, one of my favorite parts of this job is getting the opportunity to try out restaurants all across New England. I want to share my favorite restaurants with you. I'm Josh Frappier with Remax on the River, and this is East Coast Eats. Jake here. He's going to give us a little background on what they've got going on. So Jake, you want to take it from here? Yeah. So we're a 50 style diner with a modern twist. We're coming up on our eight year anniversary and we do breakfast, lunch and dinner. Breakfast starting at 5.30 a.m. We do it all night up until 10 p.m. We make all our food in house from scratch. We cook our own corned beef hash. We smoke our own pulled pork for 15 hours overnight, every night. we got an in-house pastry chef named Ashley who's awesome. Fresh cakes, pies. Um, stuff like that. So yeah, great place to bring the family and stop it on your way to Portsmouth. Yeah, there's pretty much no reason to go anywhere else but here. So they got it all. So let's go ahead in the kitchen and check it out. So I'm with Brett here. We're, we're over to the meat section now. And uh, I was just with Ashley. We saw some awesome desserts. So I'm doing it out of order, but I'm really excited to see what they've got going on here. So what are you making now? We're going to make a Reuben. Awesome. And this, right. is, this is the beginning. This is our corned beef. Yeah. Uh, red brisket, traditional red brisket. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we cook it for uh, six hours at okay. uh, 275 degrees. Um, we, we boil it, uh, right. we slow cook it. Um, we don't trim it before we put it in, we, we wait and do that afterwards. Yeah. Um, so that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna, we're, our corned beef is, is uh, well known, our Rubens are well known because um, instead of a thin sliced corned beef that you traditionally get like on a New York style deli sandwich, um, we thick cut ours. Oh, okay. um, and, and the reason that we can uh, cut it is because we cook it for so long, You're it's right. so tender, yeah. it, it melts in your mouth, so it's, it's not chewy. Yeah. Um, and, and just like any other uh, meat, you just got to make sure you, you cut it, uh, you know, with the grain. Exactly. So, so it, it's yep. not chewy. Yeah. So uh, we'll just... Yeah, that sounds we'll, amazing. Yeah, we'll just trim it out here. Yep. Usually this is how we do it. We break it down into, th you know, three smaller pieces so it's easier to handle. So you guys serve a lot of these, a lot of Rubens? Oh God, yes. Um, yeah. So we, we cook uh, six of these at a time. Okay. And we'll probably do this three times a week. Yeah, so that's a lot. That's a lot, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna trim off the fat. So it's definitely something you don't wanna get when you get one of our Rubens. Yep. And you know, and another reason we cook it with the fat on it so it retains some of the flavor. So we trim it down. This is what we do with all of our uh, corned beef for, for Rubens. Um, get the fat off, and then like I said, we cut it thick. Almost a quarter inch to almost a half inch thick slices. Yep. Just like that. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that's perfect. It's not too thick. No, it's it's too this is actually beautiful. This is yeah. well cooked. And that's, our, that's the prep part of our, our corned beef. Um, We'll then portion this out and in, in have portion online and then we'll cook it right on the flat top. So that's where we'll go now. Awesome, let's do it. So the next part of the Reuben is assembling it and serving it. Uh, so we take our, our marble rye and this is uh, another thing that sets us apart from other restaurants that have brittled sandwiches or, or bread. Yeah. Um, is instead of using butter, on, we use mayonnaise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it sounds kind of weird, and it did to me. Sounds it sounds genius. It, but it, 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 it puts a nice sear on the bread, yeah. um, uh, gets a nice golden brown, um, and it, it, it's, it tastes amazing. So, That's cool. So we uh, mail the, the griddle part of the bread. Yep. Put that on. The next key part is Swiss cheese. And then we take our corned beef, our slow-cooked corned beef, and what we have here is the juice that we actually cook the corned beef in. Um, so we save we save all that all the liquid, um, and then we, we heat this online. So instead of obviously not, yeah. instead of throwing the corned beef right on the on the flat top and trying to get it hot that way, yeah. um, we'll drop it right into the juice and, and yeah, reconstitute it that way. Heat it back up, re re uh, infuse that flavor, 
yeah, back into the corned beef. Waste. No, you can't let that go to waste. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so that goes in there, and while that's warming up, we get the uh, we have the bread, uh, the Swiss, our sauerkraut, and Russian dressing, a uh, home, homemade, in-house made uh, scratch dressing. Yeah. Let's yeah, buy it one more time. I'll show you how we make that too. Um, so we let that cook. We let the cheese melt. We let the, uh, the sauerkraut brown a little bit on the griddle. Pull the hot corned beef right out of the water. like that. That is one hell of a sandwich. It is one <laughs> hell of a sandwich. Oh, look at that. And then what we do is to make sure, we want to ensure that everybody gets the same quality and the same Reuben. So what we do is we kind of put a cap on it. That'll melt the cheese. Yeah. Um, get that nice gooey sensation. Get the cheese right into the corn meat on the sauerkraut. Yeah. The mayonnaise does to that yeah, bread. Yeah, it's a big difference. Actually. Yeah. Then butter, yes. Yeah. So do you guys do it with other sandwiches as well, or is it the mayo? Yeah. The, oh yeah, all of our sandwiches. All yeah. of that, all of that bread over there, did been prepared yeah. the same exact way. That's awesome. And we just take it off. Cut it in half. Oh yeah, that's yes. a good looking sandwich. It's a, it's a good looking Reuben. Yeah, this is unbelievable. This is honestly the best bite of a Reuben I've ever had. So you guys definitely got to come try this place out. Roundabout Diner right in Portsmouth. It's honestly unbelievable. So definitely like and share this video and uh, spread the word so everyone knows how awesome this place is. Thanks, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh.